everybody. Today I have some doll furniture that I purchased on Etsy from Dream Studio Dollhouse and I've purchased from them before and I needed more clothes racks because I have an increasing number of doll clothes that are just piling up in my room. So I was going to, you have to assemble their um, furniture. It's very, very inexpensive. You can see it comes from Russia and they're able to ship it flat and then the way it works is you assemble it yourself. So I have the furniture here. I've got some wood glue because you, you need wood glue to put it together. And so I thought I would show you guys the assembly process here. And I'll leave a link below to exactly what I bought because they have a lot of different color and style combinations that you can choose from. And I really like the furniture. Like I said, it, it, it gets the job done, but I just have too many doll clothes now. So the, the one that I have is no longer getting the job done by itself. And once I get these assembled and the glue dries, um, I think I'm going to do a video about all my doll clothes because I'm going to try to organize them now that I'll have a little bit more space to put them in or to hang them up on, so to speak. So you can look for that in the next week or so after I've been revamping my entire doll room and just trying to get more organized and get things in a, in a place where I can get to them easily. And where I know where everything is so that it's just more neat and tidy and organized. So, here we go. All right. And I guess they use some kind of, I don't know, they must have some kind of machine that they use to cut all this stuff out with. Um, because it's, the details are really nice on it, and I think the quality is pretty good as long as you use the correct glue. Uh, the first ones that I got, I didn't use wood glue the first time, and it did come apart. I think I tried to use hot glue or something. You do definitely you need to use wood glue to put these together because other types of glue aren't going to bond as well as the wood glue will. All right, let's get everything out. So I ordered, oh, they sent me a bonus. That's nice. Cause this you can hang pants on. I didn't realize they had these. I don't think I paid attention cause I might've ordered these. Cause I ordered a ton of extra hangers. You can see that because that was one thing I ran out of hangers also. Cause I think more clothes could fit on the clothes rack that I have, but I don't have enough hangers. And so here's more hangers. I think so I just ordered tons of hangers and they sent me this one as a bonus, I think. And pull these out. And so you can see here are the note. Thanks for ordering our items. Carefully cut out the parts with a knife. All you need is to cut the small cross pieces on the back side of the kit. Assemble the items as shown in our tutorials. Um, but I've already assembled one, so I think I can assemble without the tutorial. I'm just going to assemble one of them here on video because it's the exact same thing. But just to show you guys um, how it's done and how easy it is. So you can see, again, they are, they're packaged completely flat. So that helps, I think, with pricing because the shipping's not terrible and so on and so forth. So here, oh yeah, I don't think my items have to be cut out. I think they're already, let's see. Some extra hangers. So they, I think they come with five hangers automatically, but I knew I was going to need more than five hangers. Okay, so that's everything. So the way this works is you have two of these pieces. You can see one has a slot in it for this bottom piece, which is gonna be like your stabilizer, but you're gonna put two of the pieces together. So you wanna glue 
these two pieces completely together like so, so that you have some stability and some sturdiness here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that part. And I'm trying to see if either part is better for the outside. I think they're pretty much the same. So I'm just going to put the glue there. So I got my glue open and then I'm going to Got the glue, and now I'm going to put this piece on, like so. I'm sorry the camera's shaking. The cat just jumped up onto the table. Thought he was sleeping, but apparently not. All right, so now I've got that put together and I'm going to wipe off the excess with a Q-tip here. And this glue will dry clear, so it's not a big deal if it's, um, if there's some left on, around the edges. All right, so there's one assembled. So now I will assemble the other. Same exact thing, just put these two pieces together. Okay, and the last part I'm going to put in is I'm going to put this piece in. So I'm just going to, there's already some glue here from what I just did, but let me put a little extra in there. So I'm going to put that here. You can see I just got a ton of glue extra. I'm also going to go ahead and put the rack in or the bar, I guess you could call it. So I'm gonna put, put this in, put the bar in, and I'm gonna glue the bar as well. So I'm gonna glue that down. And then if you're more patient than I am, you could probably, you should probably let these dry between. Like you could let these two pieces dry first, but. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go straight into building it and then I'll let it dry once it's built. So a little glue here, a little glue there. And I can see that this one is off just a little bit. So I'm gonna try to push that up. So they're not quite even, there we go. Sure, I got my glue in, and then I'm gonna sandwich this on top. This. So now my whole piece is put together. And I'm gonna grab a wet paper towel and clean off all the excess, and then let it dry. So here it is, and I'm gonna let it dry, and I'll take some pics and show you guys. I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna leave a link to this below. 
Um, again, these are very inexpensive and I really like them for my doll clothes. They, do, they get the job done. They look nice once the glue is all dry. So I think they're perfect. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in a comment below. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.